Today I wanted to change things up a little bit and do a video on my daily driver. I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, and the snow is melting. I don't believe it, but it actually is. Um, so I won't be driving this thing a whole bunch this summer. I'll be driving my Corvette or my RX-8 or something. Um, I usually drive this thing in the winter and stuff. That's a lie. I just bought this. It's a 2020. I usually drove my F-150 with that six inch lift on it and I lowered one. Um, but now I have this. So anyway, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna actually do something a little different as well. I'm gonna give a full review on what I think of the Colorado ZR2 um, and what I figure and what I've done and et cetera. Here we go. Serbian power. <laughs> so this is a 2020 Colorado ZR2 with a four inch BDS lift on it. Run a 35, 12, 50, 17s on it. It still has the Magna Ride suspension, which is nice. Um, so even on a four inch lift on 35s, it's a tight squeeze. Like, you see that? There is some trimming that we had to do in there. It is the Duramax, I'll get into that. Um, overall, I don't have many complaints. Um, it's got almost 24 inches of ground clearance with the lift on it, the tires and pretty much go at, through any quad trail you want it to. Um, so I'm impressed that way. Um, the short, I think it's about 128, 129 inch wheelbase. Um, lets it crawl over pretty much anything. It's got front and rear lockers in it. Um, here it is, the Duramax. As embarrassing as it is, it's pretty tiny. Um, okay, as far as all of that goes, um, no complaints. It's got, it's pretty torquey. Um, that's what I needed to. I got rid of my half ton because I don't pull anything anymore. I used to have a big weight boat, but now I just pull a couple sea dues, so I didn't need a full size anymore. I only put snowboards in the back of it. Nothing crazy. All right, on with the interior. There is not a great deal amount of room in here. I would say less than my wife's 2020 Blazer RS. So, I do all kids in it, obviously, you can see it's a mess. Um, so, yes, you could sit in there comfortably. I compare the leg space to like a Sunwing flight, basically. So, it's doable, but it's not comfortable. Um, up front, all the room in the world. Um, I put the weather checks in there. Um, seats are nice, they are a little bit stiff, I've heard from some people. I actually prefer them. With all the clearance and no running boards, it is a challenge to get in here. One of my staff is 5'3", I think, and she struggles pretty good to get in there. That floor is almost waist tight on her. Um, Interior-wise, it's pretty comfortable, it's nice. I do like that it saves space in my garage compared to the half ton. Um, with the four inch lift, it rides incredibly smooth, like much, much, much smoother than my F1 or F-150, which was a 16 with a six inch lift on it. Um, also had 35, 1250, uh, 18s on it, these are 17s. Um, interior wise, it's well laid out. I'll give GM that. Um, it's easy to nav through on the dash. Everything's pretty well laid out. I have no overall complaints that way. Um, some of your friends, if you get one, it is probably gonna make fun of you that you've lost your man card. Um, one of my friends made fun of me until I had to go pull him out of a snowbank and pulled his full-size Dodge out, no problem. Not even taking a run at it. So, overall, that would be it. So, quick review, I guess. 24 inches of ground clearance with a four inch lift. Like, complete ground clearance. Um, good and torquey. Seems to pull all right. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. Just thought I'd change it up from the usual fast car stuff to your typical Colorado. So that all said, would I recommend the ZR2? Absolutely. I love driving it. Uh, it saves space in my garage and it drives just about anywhere where this isn't even shoulder height. So it's nice. Um, I don't know. I'd recommend it. 
The unfortunate part is with the Duramax in the lift, I'm over 70,000 into this thing. So that's kind of shitty. You could get a full size truck for that, but it won't have the options. It won't have the lockers. Um, and I guess you're not going to save space. That's it.